Collect yourself and pop a squat. Welcome to another episode of Corey's Collectibles with a brand new No Spin Review Bin. Today's episode is something a lot of you have been requesting. McDonald's Boo Buckets. Um, everybody loves a little nostalgia. And these have, well, buckets of it because uh, these are in stock at McDonald's and you can get yours today. Um, I can confirm that this weekend all the McDonald's have the Boo Buckets in stock. All you have to do is get a Happy Meal. You don't even have to have a kid or be a, be a kid to get one. Um, anyone can go up, order a Happy Meal. They're going to serve it in the Boo Bucket. This is how you get one. And uh, usually, typically, every location typically is going to have one of these. You can go around and you can call, um, make calls or talk to or you know, reach out to staff. And they will usually be able to tell you which ones they have. There are the three. Um, there's the Mick pumpkin makes sense. Cause he's a pumpkin. And, uh, th this one I thought was kind of funny. It looks like a witch, but it's actually Mick goblin. So that's kind of weird. And then Mick boo, I thought it was going to be Mick ghost cause it's a ghost, but it's Mick boo. And, uh, basically, um, a lot of people are wondering what's the process like to get one. I just want to share my experience before I get to the review and kind of give you my take on the latest updates to these classic, uh, vessels for trick or treating. Um, uh, the process I went through was basically, I went to the, uh, McDonald's in, in, uh, Glendale, which I knew was one of the bigger McDonald's. So I knew they were going to get them. Um, I basically started my camp out about 3 AM the night before. Um, I waited and waited, uh, to see if anybody was going to come out. Cause I thought they opened at five. Turns out they opened at seven. Um, so I was in for at least about four hours, um, of a wait, um, so I started to see if I could see any staff members come in before I tell you what happened with the staff members. I just want to say today's episode of the no spin review bin is brought to you by zip recruiter at zip recruiter. You can create your job post. And once you post it, it gets sent to a hundred plus job sites with one click zip recruiters, matching technology finds the right candidates, then invites them to apply as candidates apply. You can manage and rate them in their all in one dashboard. Thank you. Zip recruiter for sponsoring this video. Um, so I waited and watched, uh, staff members at that McDonald's as they drove up in their car. Um, some of them sat in their car for an extended period of time. Some of them were on the phone or eating or whatever. I watched them just to wait and see if maybe they would open early for the buckets. Cause I, you know, it was kind of, everybody was under the assumption that this was a big deal and this was uh, a, a huge day for the collector community. Um, once they went into the store, um, they still held to the opening time of 7 a.m., uh, I asked, I even walk up to the, uh, I don't have a car right now, but I walked up to the uh, drive through speaker and asked, you know, hello, is anyone there? Is anyone going to answer? No one was there. I said, hello, hello, hello. I basically kept knocking until someone had to respond to me. They didn't really have another choice. And they uh, told me to basically come back when it's open. Um, they're going to, they're, they're going to have everything I want when it's open. Um, I think they probably miscalculated or miscommunicated whatever, what I wanted because they didn't, um, really know what I was talking about. I kept saying, if you have the buckets, do you have the buckets? Where are the buckets? They didn't really know what I was saying. So, uh, I just waited and waited and waited. Uh, and then finally 7am hit, it was already hot out because we had kind of a heat wave in LA last week. So it was already 85, 90 degrees by 7am at, you know, that had already happened. So I, uh, rolled up. Okay. It's seven. Where are they? And the staff basically told me out the gate when they opened, uh, that they did not have any, which I thought sounded weird. Um, like maybe they didn't know what I was talking about or didn't understand. So I waited, uh, more, I didn't leave. I just kind of kept waiting around. I asked again a few minutes later, maybe they had heard something over the phone, but no one, no one knew anything and or, nor, nor did they have any kind of response to me. They really weren't talking to me after a little bit. And, uh, so I kind of, uh, waited, kind of paced around the lobby for a little bit around the tables and around the, uh, trash cans and all that. And then they eventually told me to go outside. I waited outside. I went out of the parking lot, started to pace around there for a little bit because a lot of these businesses, they don't want you to lo basically loitering laws, uh, only qualify if you are standing in one spot for an extended period of time. So I tried to, uh, pace around, I, I kind of developed this technique at Comic-Con where they can't really tell you to leave if you're pacing around in a circle and going around in one spot. So I did that outside for a little bit. And as I kept, this is just kind of a funny anecdote that I want to share, but, um, you hopefully won't have to deal with this. But as I was pacing around the outside, I had a guy, uh, ask me if I could buy him, if I could go in and buy him a coffee with six creamers. 
and uh, I think I'm not sure if he w- if he was homeless or anything like that. I didn't really know uh, anything about that or wh- what the current status of where he was living was. I just know he kept saying like, "Could you please buy me a coffee?" He's a really shaky old guy, and um, you know I basically told him, "Hey, I'm not really here to deal with that right now. I'm here for the boo buckets. I'm kind of like looking for." Um, that right now I'm, I'm trying to collect all three and this, I don't really want to do anything that's going to kind of take me away from that or pull me away from that. And he started getting mad. He started saying that I'm privileged and there all these things about, um, I'm doing things with money that he wasn't able to do. It wasn't like that when he was a kid and it, it got off into a kind of an awkward, uh, stance. And so we just kind of started, you know, as I was pacing, he was kind of pacing around the other way. And eventually he actually grabbed me. He grabbed me by the kind of the, uh, scruff of my neck there and was saying, you know, like, when I was your age, I didn't do this, act your, act your fucking age, I don't mean to curse in this video, but he kind of just kept going, going, act your fucking age, and I said, I am, I am, and he just fucking, he took me to the ground at one point, and I kind of kicked back, I know I've been doing uh, kind of Brazilian jiu-jitsu with, um, well, I've watched YouTube videos, and basically I, 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 I pin him around, I had my arm around his neck and I just kind of kept jabbing my, my leg out. And with the heat, with my heel, it felt like maybe at one point it, it either dug into his leg or, or it ruptured his sack, like where it kind of went through his sack. It just felt something wet after I did that. It was definitely like my foot was stepping on liquid while I was doing that. So I was just kind of like, whoa, this is crazy. Like what's happening right now? And he left. Um, I, uh, he tore my hoodie, which is why I'm not wearing one right now. My, um, I, I typically wear this, I kind of have a good luck charm Supreme hoodie that I bring to these uh, locations. And obviously, uh, that, that was kind of, uh, infractured that day because I didn't have much good luck. He ripped it off and that's why I'm not wearing it. And so I went into the store and, uh, I'm asking like, where are the buckets? Cause at this point I'm in danger at this point, you know, I've been out here four or five, six, seven, I, I don't even know. It's been eight hours at this point. And I'm saying, I just need to get out of here. And this guy with a kid is standing by the counter and he goes, okay, you need to stop. Like he's looking, like he's speaking on behalf of the employees at the McDonald's. He's like, Hey, you need to stop. Uh, please, you need, you need to get out. But as I'm looking at this guy, he's asking me, please stop. You don't need to do this. Please stop. The employees don't like this. Please stop. But the whole time I'm looking at one thing. And that is this guy is a kid. He's standing at the counter and he has a kid and I'm going, okay. So two things are going through my head. One, he's just here to buy these for his kid, which is a waste of the buckets completely. Kid doesn't have any fucking idea about the nostalgia behind them or what they're worth or any of that kind of thing. So, uh, okay. So f- fast forward on that to uh, second thing that's in my head is this guy. I know I recognize him from a rival channel. I know this guy is doing his own channel. He's probably got a family review thing where it's like that little Ryan kid that never ages. He's just like hermetically sealed or some shit. And he's just going to review these himself. So, uh, from two different angles, I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, my friend, I, I, really need the buckets right now. So I told, I just basically ignore that guy. I put up side the, the sidelines here and I tell the guy, Hey, I'm not leaving. I want the buckets. Uh, where's the owner? Cause I'll tell him right now. I'm not fucking leaving until I get these <laughs> boo buckets. I, this is not the Halloween I want. And I notice, and they, they bring the manager out. This guy is the owner of the store. He's looking right at me dead center in the eye. And he's like, sir, we don't sir. Blah, 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 blah. And as he's talking to me, I'm looking past him. I'm not even focused on him or his words. And I'm looking right past him. And I see, I just see white. Like, I just see white. Because there's white buckets. There's stacks of white buckets in the hallway behind him. You can see it's littered with them. And I'm like, okay. (laughs) What's that, Uh, sir? Excuse me, what's that? He says they're buckets of mayo. We have a we have bulk mayo. We have tons of mayo that we keep on hand. And I'm trying to like run my brain through what sandwiches at McDonald's have mayo. Um, so bingo, caught in his own lie. So I tell him, um, okay, well then, uh, all right, I'll give up on that. Um, let me use the bathroom because at this point, I, like I said, I've been out seven, eight hours. I had not um, relieved myself or any of that. And this guy goes, okay, yeah, sorry, it's for paying customers only. I'm like, okay, sell me the buckets. <laughs> sell me the buckets. <laughs> um, you know, and he just kept repeating it. Only paying customers, sell me the buckets. I mean, it was like, uh, throw, me, throw me the whip, throw me the idol. <laughs> I have the idol somewhere, but I can't reach it. But um, anyway, so other manager steps in. Now, this guy I fucking recognized. I've been at this location before. I recognize this dude. This manager 
douche, I don't want to curse on here, but he steps in and he says, um, this guy's banned. This guy's banned. Like, you, I you barely understand him. He's just yelling through his, like, his own fucking beard and spit. This guy's banned. And they're saying, what is he talking about? And he's like, this guy's banned. He uh, used our Wi-Fi. He was torrenting Gotham Knights. He was trying to get Gotham Knights. Don't listen to him. He's banned. He's telling the owner this. And I'm like, okay, first of all, I have not had Wi-Fi at my apartment in a fucking month. It's a whole thing with my kid. And I don't, my kid, my kid's not even coming over anymore. I haven't seen him. I haven't done it. You know, I, I, I don't even have custody of him anymore. So there's no reason to have Wi-Fi. I just needed to download this for like two seconds and then I'm out and they fucking threw a fit. They could see, they looked through my ports, which I didn't even give them permission to do. I didn't check any boxes. McDonald's um, Wi-Fi, for those who haven't used McDonald's Wi-Fi before, it doesn't even have a, a prompt at the beginning. It doesn't even have like a um, any kind of like select this or, or opt into this or opt out of that for that matter. So privacy is out the window. Privacy is out the window. Uh, uh, as far as I know, now there's two networks. There's the McDonald's network and then there's the McCafe network, which as far as I know are the same business, but some places or franchises i should say are run in two completely different ways basically two different power structures within the mcdonald's corporation where basically you have uh burger services which is um and that's not necessarily just burgers it's also breakfast services when it comes to like um you know for example they might have breakfast all day so that would qualify under the burger pyramid and then on the other hand you have mccafe which is just basically it might be pastries it might be just coffee it might they have the right to serve whatever they want as long as it's within that pyramid it's just a pastries uh coffee tea hot drinks uh things like that so of that nature so these are two different networks they work two totally different ways and so when he asked me um d d is that true did this manager ask you to not download gotham knights on our network i didn't even know how to honestly respond because he's talking about two, two totally different networks and I didn't even know how to respond to that. I'm like, which one, the McDonald's network or the Matt cafe network and not the McAfee network, because that's a totally different thing, which I use for my antivirus. And he didn't even know how to respond. He was just like, you just open a can of worms kind of look. He didn't say that, but yeah, I just got that look. So, um, I just said, okay, let's call a spade a spade here. Let's, let's wipe the, sl the slate clean. Um, let's just start from the bottom up. Hi, hi. Uh, you know, my name's Corey, just hi. And I started with that on handshake and I just want the buckets. If I could just get the McBoo, uh, McBoo, Mc, uh, Mc, McBuckets for uh, Halloween, I'm out of here and I'll be out of your hair and it's really not a big deal. They said again, they didn't have them. It was like, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I actually did leave and I didn't get the buckets at McDonald's. I ended up going on stock X and, uh, they had sure enough, all three, uh, well, no, they didn't have all three. They had two, um, but I got, I got three because they had two, two of the, two of the pumpkins. They had two of the pumpkins and one ghost. I don't even want to tell you, um, how much I paid for those, but I'm, uh, gentleman doesn't discuss prices, but it was a lot, <laughs> but they had them, you know, honestly, my, my kind of my take on it is, um, is basically like, you know, how, how long are you going to hunt for it? How much are you going to put into gas? How much are you going to put into time? Time away from work, time away from family, kind of just, you know, stuff like that. And uh, so you factor that in and really it's, you know, there, there's really kind of no price you could put on getting uh, three buckets. Well, two, two of the ghosts. I don't remember. One of them, there was two and one of them was one. Uh, now you're probably asking, okay, I saw you. You had all three. You had all three of the buckets. How did you get the mcgoblin or mcwitch i like to think it's mcwitch because that doesn't look like a goblin to me it looks like a witch but anyway uh my friend and his kid uh they actually do a trunk or treat event at our uh foothills christian fellowship down the street they do a trunk or treat event every year and uh they asked me to join them this year they were just kind of like wanting to keep an eye on me and i went with them and i noticed that one of the kids at the trunk or treat just had one of these and uh i I didn't even need to ask. Like the kid was far too young to even know what they are or what they're worth. So I just kind of took one from there and now we have all three. So there they are all three, uh, uh, Halloween buckets from McDonald's. We are very excited about this. We're going to do a little bit of trick or treating ourselves. I don't normally do that. That's a kid's kid's thing, but I feel like with these, no one's probably going to mind it. Um, as for my review, they're great. You can uh, see for yourself here. Um, I'll just put a, I don't really have anything to put in the bucket, but uh, if I did, you'd see it.
in the bucket. So that's kind of my review. Thanks to everyone for watching. Once again, I want to give a shout out to ZipRecruiter. Uh, ZipRecruiter is the number one job recruitment site. Create your own job post. Uh, they reach America's top candidates daily. Uh, once you post your job, it gets sent to 100 plus job sites with one single click. ZipRecruiter's matching technology finds the right candidates, then invites them to apply, review the best matches, and as candidates apply, you can manage and rate them in our all-in-one dashboard. Thank you to ZipRecruiter. Uh, next week, I am going to review, be reviewing the Toy Story Tamagotchi, the golden black version. They had a New York Comic Con. Yes, I was able to get one. I will not be reviewing the Lightyear edition because... Uh, <laughs> uh, woke thanks for watching uh this has been Corey's collectibles in the no spin review bin thank you